few other x equals say 1 minus 1 power n and a raised to the power n. Now first let us consider 1. In this case when I take x of n to be 1 and I apply the DFT for this DFT formula is x of k n ranging from 0 to capital N minus 1 x of n that is 1 into e raised to the power minus j 2 pi k e raised to the power minus j 2 pi k n by capital N. Now how do I find the summation of this is again very simple that is I, I know that any summation which ranges from 0 to capital N minus 1 and it is of the form a raised to the power n. How is it? I can write the same in terms of e raised to the power minus j 2 pi k divided by capital N. This small n which is there that I will write like this. We know that a raised to the power m raised to the power n can be written as a raised to the power mn. So here it is in the form of a raised to the power mn. So here I write it in the form of a raised to the power m raised to the power n. Now if I wish to find the summation of this then the format is very simple 1 minus a raised to the power this will be a e raised to the power minus j 2 pi k divided by capital N into upper limit plus 1 upper limit is n minus 1 plus 1 is capital N and then cancel divided by 1 minus e raised to the power minus j 2 pi k divided by n so the formula which I am using here is very simple that is summation n ranging from 0 to m is always e n ranging from 0 to m a raised to the power n is always equal to 1 minus a raised to the power m plus 1 that is upper limit plus 1 divided by 1 minus a. Fine. Now that I have computed this that is I have expressed the summation in using this expression over here. Now if I simplify it it is 1 minus e raised to the power minus j 2 pi k divided by 1 minus e raised to the power minus j 2 pi k divided by capital N. Now here in the case of k is equal to 0 this expression fails because when I put k is equal to 0 I get 0 by 0 form which is indeterminate correct hence this expression is invalid for k is equal to 0 hence what do I do is I substitute k is equal to 0 in the just previous step of the uh, expression that is here I substitute so if I substitute k is equal to 0 any time raised to the power 0 is 1 1 raised to the power n is 1 okay so let's see in the case when k is equal to 0 what happens is summation n varied from 0 to capital N minus 1 into 1 raised to the power n which is 1 so summation over 1 is capital N fine now in this expression if you observe e raised to the power minus j 2 pi k here k is an integer so 2 pi okay 4 pi 6 pi 8 pi for any given number this expression will evaluate to be 1 okay even for 0 this upper term will evaluate to 1 but 1 minus 1 is 0 denominator also turns 0 hence this expression is invalid okay but when I put any value other than 1 for k any integer so uh, but uh, but when I come to DSP it should be only positive integers because negative integers are not allowed correct hence 1 minus e raised to the power minus j 2 pi k which is 1 will be 0 if k is not equal to 0 and as I have shown here it is capital N only when k is equal to 0 okay so if you are if you can observe this this is the behavior of the impulse signal 
it is having the magnitude n at k is equal to 0 and 0 otherwise. Correct? So, the x of k can be written as n into del of k. So, this is how you find the DFT of the signal which is 1. Okay? Now, let us see the DFT of other signals like minus 1 raised to the power n and a power n. Now, let us find the DFT of minus 1 raised to the power n. In this case, n ranging from 0 to capital N minus 1, minus 1 raised to the power n, e raised to the power minus j 2 pi k n by capital N. Now, here you can see that it is the common power, n is the common power for minus 1 as well as e, e power minus j 2 pi k n by capital N. So, what I do? I just group it off so that it will be n ranging from 0 to capital N minus 1 e raised to the minus e raised to the power minus j 2 pi k divided by capital N and the uh, small n I write over here so that I get in the form of a raised to the power n. So, now if I write the simplified version of this then it would be 1 minus of a raised to the power upper limit plus 1. So, this entire expression is a. You have to be very very careful about the minus sign because if it is missed you get the wrong result. e raised to the power minus j 2 pi k divided by capital N raised to the power upper limit plus 1. Minus 1 is there so I just written n divided by 1 minus it is in the formula but I have minus over here so this becomes plus e raised to the power minus j 2 pi k divided by capital N. Now, now here there is a catch. The thing is, general mistake what we do is, we forget about the minus sign. Either we forget while writing over here or we just neglect it over here. Now, this problem can be simplified in the manner as I said now. Now, this minus should be dealt with, with carefully. 1 minus of minus 1 raised to the power n raised to the power capital N. I am separating this minus now. And e raised to the power minus j 2 pi k. Okay. This capital N, capital N cancels. Divided by 1 minus 1 plus e raised to the power minus j 2 pi k divided by capital N. Now, here you can see, as in the previous expression, if k is equal to 0, then the entire denominator was becoming 0. But in this case, that will not happen because I have a plus term in the denominator. However, there is another catch here which we have to deal with. Now, to make this expression minus 1, so that I get the denominator 0, we have to do something. What is it? Let's see. If I equate k to capital N divided by 2. Okay. So, let us see that over here. So, I am just writing this part over here. e raised to the power minus j 2 pi. For k, I will replace it by capital N div divided by 2. And this n, I will just write it over here. So, I will just cancel out. Fine. Now, e raised to the power minus j pi e raised to the power minus j pi is minus 1. How do you know? Because e raised to the power minus j pi can be written as cos pi minus j sin pi. Sin pi is 0. So, cos pi is minus 1. There you go. This term, this entire denominator will become 0. So, the expression is invalid. So, expression is invalid for k is equal to capital N by 2. Let us substitute the same k is equal to capital N by 2 over here. Okay. So, I know that I would be getting this entire expression evaluates to minus 1. Correct. So, if I substitute minus 1 over here, minus 1 into the minus which is present will be plus 1 raised to the power small n will be capital N. This we have seen earlier. The only change here is here minus 1 gets multiplied by minus which is present over here and 
it becomes plus 1, 1 raised to the power small n is 1, summation over 1 from 0 to capital N minus 1 is capital N. Okay, now here in case the N is the capital N is even, then this term vanishes. If it is odd, then it doesn't. If it is, if the capital N is odd, then minus sign exists and minus into minus becomes plus. If this capital N vanishes, then capital N should be even. So, now let us assume that capital N is even. In case capital N is even, then this term will be plus 1 because uh, minus into minus is plus and minus raised to the power any even number will be plus sign. So, therefore, 1 minus e raised to the power minus j 2 pi k. e raised to the power minus j 2 pi k will give us unity. For any value of k, we will get 1. So, therefore, for any value of k, which is other than k is equal to capital N by 2, this term will be 0. Correct? So, this term will be 0. Therefore, I can say that for any value other than k is equal to n by 2, it is 0. Okay? Now, when k is equal to n by 2, we have seen the value is evaluated to be capital N. This is the value when k is not equal to n by 2. When k is equal to n by 2, it is capital N by 2. When k is equal to n by 2, it is n. So, this is how the x of n is behaving. So, now this again represents a impulse signal which is having the magnitude n at capital N by 2. Hence, I can write it as x of k is equal to capital N into dull of k minus capital N divided by 2. So, this is how you find the DFT of the signal minus 1 raised to the power n. Now, let us find the DFT of a raised to the power n. Capital X of k is equal to summation n varied from 0 to capital N minus 1 a raised to the power n e raised to the power minus j 2 pi k small n divided by capital N. Now, the same logic which I used when I am finding, when I was finding the DFT of minus 1 raised to the power n I will be using here. So, I just group it that is 0 capital N minus 1 a into e raised to the power minus j 2 pi k n k n k divided by capital N and this small n I write it in terms of in the common power okay fine now this is again in the again in the form of a raised to the power n correct so therefore I can write it as 1 minus a raised to the power e, a into e, e raised to the power minus j 2 pi k divided by capital N into upper limit plus 1 that is capital N divided by 1 minus e ra a into e raised to the power minus j 2 pi k divided by capital N. Here this would be 1 minus a raised to the power capital N this, ex this term you can just split a raised to the power capital N into e raised to the power minus j 2 pi k divided by 1 minus a into e raised to the power minus j 2 pi k divided by capital N. This term would be unity. So therefore, it would be 1 minus a raised to the power capital N divided by 1 minus a into e raised to the power minus j 2 pi k divided by capital N. So this is how you find the DFT of the sequence a raised to the power n. So thank you very much for watching the video. Hope you have liked it and found it informative as well. Please cl click the like button if you have liked the video. Then do share your valuable comments in the comment section below. And subscribe for my channel if you haven't subscribed yet so that you will be notified when I upload the videos in the future. Thank you.